following segment is sponsored by Petland. 714 on Fox 28 Morning Live. Ron is here from Petland. You're right. It is always fun. And we've got, fun. you said there's a little bit of mystery uh, with the mixes oh, yeah. here. Okay, so we always like to introduce yes. our guests. So we have our little uh, lady Italian greyhound and the bold man, little miniature pincher over <laughs> here. Who's shaking like a leaf. Uh, yeah, so. If you've been following along the last two years, uh, the dogs and I don't have a great rapport. Right, they always love <laughs> Despite it. my best efforts. So, all purebreds, so both of these are purebreds. Okay. Uh, all purebreds are mixed breeds from the past. Uh, and it's fascinating when you go into the history, you can go to our website, PetlandIowaCity.com, uh, and we have all the breeds in there and a the little short descriptions. And I'm always like, oh my gosh, that is so cool. What do you think the two main breeds that uh, that are that make up the miniature pincher. So I, apparently I got it right during the break. Doberman's one of them. Right? No. Okay. Why'd you lead me on like that? You gave me this whole yeah, I did that song too. and dance like I nailed it. Oh, All right, yeah, then I, I have no again. idea. I don't know. All right. So <laughs> I actually am holding one of them, the Italian Greyhound. Really. And the Dachshund, which we were also just talking, we were just talking about, about off the air. Yeah. So now if you look at the miniature pincher, you can go oh colors of a dachshund. I sure. can kind of see that. Yep. And then we have the longer legs. Okay, that's the Italian Greyhound. Yep. Isn't that neat? That, that you know, like you could see those kind of things nice. in there. So, so that is our guests today. All right. And what we're talking about is, you know, hey, good dog, good dog. But, you know, there are bad foods for them out there. Boy, and, and, and they love table scraps, don't yes, they? Yes. <laughs> and we love, you know, the people food is not always the right thing for sure. a dog. And so that's what we're going to talk about. I'm, I went to the CDC and, uh, and looked at a report uh, that was published this year on it. And, okay, so raw food is that first one up there. I like, oh, well, gosh, raw food is actually a big thing now for dogs. Sure, yeah. But it's properly prepared. You're storing it in a freezer. What they're talking about with raw food is, is when you are grilling out, maybe you're getting another grill in for this fall, and you've got that hamburger there. Hey, Poochie, you want a little bit? Sure, You'll, yeah. And you throw down. Now that food's been sitting out for a while, can have the salmonella. You're going to cook it, so it's going to cook it all out. But that dog just ate the raw food. So the raw food is one thing. Um, grapes and raisins and currants. You're going to have to help me on the currants part. The grapes and raisins, <laughs> I think we've heard a lot about that. Yeah, those are uh, sure. how they're getting into it. But you're, they're getting into it because we have healthy snacks. Oh, yeah. oh, my little doggy needs one of my healthy snacks. And sure, so we yeah. give the dog that. So that's where you're getting the, the grapes. Fried and fatty foods. You know what? I didn't know that until I read this report. Sure. I thought fried chicken, good for them, good yeah. for me. <laughs> you know, right? So not they have different bodies, different chemistries, and that's what the problem is there. And so you don't want to do the fatty foods or anything. Moldy. Who's going to feed their dog moldy foods? Well, you're not intentionally doing it. Where do they go to get it? The, the garbage, garbage can. Yeah. Yeah. I went, oh, yeah. Onions, garlic, and chives. Again, I don't know too many people doing that. But when you spill the salsa on the floor, sure. that's where they're getting that's it from. Right there, they got to yeah. eat larger quantities of that, so it's kind of hard to get uh, enough of that. Same thing with salty snacks. Okay. They got to eat a lot of salty snacks in order to get that. Um, macadamia nuts, that's another one uh, where, yep, they're not good for them. Zytol, which is an artificial sweetener. sweetener yeah. Peanut butter is where they're getting them. Everybody goes, oh, let's feed them a little peanut butter. People will the field those, or the Kongs or whatever they're called. Yes, they exactly. Those. So peanut so, butter's a no. Well, certain kinds. look at their ingredients okay. on the Zytol, or for Zytol in the ingredients. Gotcha. And then the last thing that they point out wasn't a food. It was the bags you were eating the food from. Oh, sure, yeah. And they, because so they're interested in what the smell is. Sure, and so yeah. they put their head in there. And then not good things happen, suffocation yeah. and stuff like that. They can't get it off because they keep on breathing harder. And I was like, oh, I, like I felt that as they were saying, and sure. here you heard it too. Um, so uh, bags, just make sure that those food bags are away from the dogs and all that, especially this shaky little miniature picture. Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. It's over. I, I don't know what it is about me. But Look at this. The Italian Greyhound is just... It's been chill for the last like Wait, 15 and minutes. I said the opposite was going to happen. Yeah. I said, here, let's, uh, let's have you on that one. And I told you I've been doing this for a while, Ron. I know how it goes to these dogs. All right, Petland, Iowa City, they've got everything you need. If you're uh, looking to get stuff for your pets or maybe looking to find your perfect puppy, so head to their website and 